On this episode of China Uncensored, North Korea's new missile has China going ballistic. The world's oceans belong to all mankind, except the ones that belong to China. And multi-party democracy? That's evil. Unless people's votes don't actually count, then it's fine. This is China Uncensored. Hi, welcome to China Uncensored. I'm your host, Chris Chappell. In our top story, North Korea has successfully completed another missile test. According to the totally unbiased reporting from state-run media, it's capable of striking anywhere in the whole U.S. mainland. But don't worry, because U.S. President Donald Trump still has a good bromance going on with Chinese leader Xi Jinping. After a phone call, new sanctions are on the way. But there's one thing the Chinese regime is still exporting to North Korea. Refugees. Like one mother and son who were recently caught attempting to flee North Korea. They crossed the border into China, ultimately on their way to South Korea. That's where the husband-slash-father is waiting after himself fleeing in 2015. His name is Li, and he sent a message to Xi Jinping begging him to save his family. When defectors are caught trying to go to South Korea, Li tells me they're sent to political camps and never leave. From what I know, in two to three years, maybe less, you'll wither to death. The Chinese regime should know how wrong that is. They've been able to keep prisoners alive in Chinese forced labor camps for over a decade before they wither to death. But not wanting to be outdone by North Korea, either in cruelty or missile technology, the Chinese regime is close to rolling out its own ballistic missile capable of striking anywhere in the world. They even broadcast a series of videos on state-run TV about it. But don't worry, the Chinese Communist Party is committed to world peace. They only kill innocent people inside China. Speaking of people inside China, a Chinese court this week sentenced a Taiwanese activist to five years in prison. We talked about Li Mingzhe back in September. Well, this week, he was found guilty of subverting state power by promoting dangerous ideas in group messaging chats. Ideas like multi-party democracy. His sentence has the bonus effect of striking fear into the hearts of Chinese activists and the people of Taiwan in general. Instead of promoting multi-party democracy, what Li should have done is promote the system they already have in mainland China, which is multi-party cooperation. You see, while China has eight political parties other than the Chinese Communist Party, the CCP is the sole party exercising political leadership in the system of multi-party cooperation. Cooperation means that all the parties are equal. The CCP is just more equal than everyone else. And besides, everyone knows that Chinese people aren't ready for democracy unless they live in Taiwan. And apparently, Chinese people aren't ready for violent video games either. That's why hit South Korean multiplayer shooter, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, or PUBG, is coming to China with Chinese characteristics. Chinese tech giant Tencent has bought the rights to bring PUBG to China and they've agreed to make some changes to the original South Korean version. Chinese censors had said the game was too violent and said it would likely be blocked because it severely deviates from socialist core values. But what could be more in line with socialist core values than violence and senseless killing? Maybe they can just slap some Communist Party flags in the background and then it'll all be okay. That's at least what another video game company in China did. I guess the blood just blends in. And speaking of sticking to core values, a Chinese scholar is criticizing India for doing military drills in the Indian Ocean. He says, it should be stressed that the Indian Ocean belongs to all mankind, and India's actions are an attempt to turn the ocean into India's territorial waters, which is a violation of international law. All the world's oceans froze over in irony. And the Trump administration is making another move against the Chinese regime for unfair trade practices. The Commerce Department has officially launched a probe into China's aluminum exports to the U.S. If China is found to be dumping at prices that are artificially low, the U.S. could impose tariffs. And it's not just the U.S. that's having trade troubles with China. A group of German businesses is warning that some German companies may pull out of China. 
Why? Because of a request from the ruling Communist Party to set up cells in their companies. Apparently, there are already more than 100,000 foreign invested companies in China that have a party secretary embedded within their staff. It's something the Communist Party requires. But hey, who doesn't want a party in their company? Oh wait, the Germans don't. That actually makes sense. So what do you think of this week's news? Leave your comments below. Thanks for watching this episode of China Uncensored. Once again, I'm your host, Chris Chappell. See you next time. Wait, there's more episodes ready and waiting for you. Every Friday afternoon, we upload the full half hour show to our website and our app on Apple TV, Fire TV, and Roku. Check it out now because some of those segments won't be on YouTube until next week. Click here to visit our website, ChinaUncensored.tv.